hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from brett cooper and it's titled a huge victory for women you guys i'm super excited for this if you are here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what brett cooper has for us in this video there's a interview that leah did like last year he was like you know you can't say that you accept me as a trans person and then not let me compete in women's sports there's that other one where leah's up on the podium and all of the girls are down at like fourth place and they're hugging each other and leah's just standing by himself and matt responded and he was like you're absolutely correct i don't respect you i don't believe you and you shouldn't swim mm -hmm. welcome back to the comment section i'm brett cooper last month we did a couple of actually uplifting videos about the state of the world and how it feels like the pendulum is slowly starting to swing back to normalcy we talked about the frat guys pushing back against the literal antifa on their campuses and holding up the flag amidst all of the protesters we talked about target limiting their children's pride line and trump absolutely blowing biden out of the water on tiktok which is just insane there is just a lot of good stuff happening and today we have yet another that we need to talk about because there has been a huge win for common sense. Leah Thomas, aka the country's first transgender D1 NCAA champion, has been barred from qualifying for the Olympics to mm, compete against women, which is just news. incredible news. Yeah. If you had asked me two years ago if this would have happened, I genuinely do not know what I would say. Like when we were in the thick of talking about this, watching all of this happen on college campuses, I genuinely did not think this was possible. But here we are today. We have to talk about it. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you've not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss one of our comment section episodes. So if you guys do not know the Leah Thomas story, do not worry. We have plenty, plenty mm -hmm. of episodes detailing all of that to get you up to date. Most of them are actually from year one of the comment section. So if you want a little throwback action, want to jog your memory, we'll link those below. You can go enjoy those. You cannot change the fact that you are literally a head taller than these girls and that your wingspan is, is probably taller than them. I mean, guys, like five years ago, this would have been something that we would have seen on The Onion. Basically, what you need to know is that Leah Thomas, formerly William Thomas, competed at the beginning of college as a man and was ranked in the 400s. And then over one summer, William transitioned to Leah and started competing as a woman. And wow, <laughs> suddenly was ranked number one in the entire country for swimming That's and lovely. then became the first transgender D1 NCAA champion for swimming. Here is a side by side. Here's William ranked 462nd in the country. And then Leah, wow, somehow apparently just became so much better at swimming and became ranked number I one. Imagine. So. How do you like my swimming? And Very one cool disgusting. fact about Leah and this whole story is that Leah's transition and subsequent victories was actually a very important hero's origin story because tying with Leah and then being told that they were choosing Leah as the winner over her was the incident that inspired Riley Gaines to start speaking out and start her work in mm -hmm. protecting women's yeah. sports. And here they are with Leah on the podium above her even though they tied down to the second. And I don't know if you guys have seen this photo before, but it is just so iconic. Like, I love the fact that Riley did not even try to hide the way that she was feeling. And that is exactly what you should be doing in moments like these. You should not feel like you need to be silenced. You should not feel like you need to hide the way that you're feeling. Wow, you guys, this is very, very laughable. And I don't know what insanity is until this very moment. Because at a point, I don't even know if I should blame leah thomas or the people who are in charge of these swimming competitions like how did they get to accept leah thomas into competing in women's sport because first of all leah thomas is way taller than these women and coming all the way from the 400th place as a swimmer to becoming number one is just laughable that is to tell you that the strength of a man and that of a woman is totally different and putting someone like Ila thomas in the midst of women to compete against them is totally ridiculous that is rubbing it on the women's faces let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up you guys now obviously if you guys have been paying attention to the news for the past couple of years since this occurred people have been battling out this issue on social media and municipal governments obviously on the federal government as well. And Leah 
undeterred amidst all of that, set sights on the Paris 2024 Summer Olympics to compete, obviously, in the women's division. Wow. Because why wouldn't Leah? Why wouldn't you? Why well, it makes total sense, of course. But Leah quickly realized that that was not going to be as easy as Leah had anticipated. Because that same year, the World Aquatics Governing Body stepped up and updated their policy for transgender athletes Thank to be God. more strict. In one article that covered this, they wrote, in June of 2022, World Aquatics released a new eligibility policy for its competitions, stating that male to female transgender Gender athletes would be eligible to compete in the women's categories only if they can establish that they have not experienced any part of male puberty beyond Simple. Tanner stage 2 of puberty that. or before the age of 12, whichever is later. Up until then, transgender women could compete as long as they lowered their testosterone levels. So this meant that Leah, who transitioned in college, was effectively disqualified. However, still undeterred, Leah hired lawyers and went to court, specifically asking the Court of Arbitration for Sport to reject the World Aquatics new policy in the name of inclusion, of course, <laughs> because what else? <laughs> What else in 2024? Here's a headline about that from January of this year. Swimmer Leah Thomas challenges World Aquatics transgender rules. And yesterday, guys, this is the big news we have to be updated on. Yesterday, the CAS announced their ruling. Denied. Mm. All of it was denied. Here's a headline from yesterday. Transgender swimmer Leah Thomas loses legal challenge in CAS ruling. Oh, no. Anyway, last week. As Leah should, because there is absolutely no reason why a biological man standing at six foot one with a greater lung capacity, greater endurance, and more significant muscle mass should be competing yeah. against women. It makes no literally sense. no sense. It lacks all common sense and is completely mm -hmm. unfair. And the idea that you deserve to be included, even with all of your advantage and the knowledge of what you're taking away from deserving women, is grossly narcissistic. And it has been since the first time you jumped into a pool as a woman. How embarrassing. Now, obviously, Riley was posting about all of this yesterday, and my favorite tweet from her was, now the NCAA needs to strip him of every award, every title and record that he stole from a deserving yeah. female athlete. Absolutely. I completely, completely agree. Tristan Tate actually was the top comment. He made an excellent point, and he said, plus, track down every girl who came in fourth and give her the money, scholarships, bonuses, and trophies that she deserved for third place. I literally did not even think about that until I read that comment. Like coming in fourth behind Leah Thomas is more heartbreaking than losing first or second in my opinion, because like he said, those girls didn't even end up on the podium. These women were sidelined because this culture was too afraid of a small mob in the diversity police to stand up for them and their accomplishments. Not anymore. One man commented and he said, a win for women and a win for my daughters. This is such a glimmer of hope that common sense is truly yeah. returning. That the mob that pushes this dangerous gender ideology has finally gone too far and has pushed people over the edge. I think people are waking up to the realization that bending a knee to this issue isn't the nice, progressive, or inclusive thing to do. They are seeing that it is actively anti-woman in every single way. And and obviously, there's a lot more that we have to fix, starting with Biden's absolute butchering of Title IX. But this is already an incredibly strong start. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting one from Brett Cooper. And I really love that comment that someone left that said, a win for women is a win for my daughter. That was very, very heartwarming. I really loved every minute of this video. And I believe you guys also enjoyed watching. What are your thoughts? I'll say that this is the best news ever because women has been denied. They've been robbed of their position just because of inclusivity. Because I don't know anyone in their right mind who will look at Leah Thomas and says he's fit to compete against women. That is ridiculous. That is unhinged. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. And the icing on the cake was when the court rejected him. That was the best news ever. And goodbye to Leah Thomas. And I can't even imagine how someone like Riley Gaines will be feeling right now. Because all those wins, all those titles that have been stolen from her by Leah Thomas will be restored in due time. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I really had fun reacting to Brett Cooper. And I believe you guys also enjoyed watching. If you did enjoy watching, give this video a massive thumbs up, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.